Today I'm going to try making some cauliflower crust pizza for our dinner. some ground turkey defrosting in the microwave and I'm putting some cauliflower in here to steam. It's a recipe I found online. We'll see how it's going to turn out. All right, I got all the cauliflower in the pot um, with the steaming tray and there's water in the bottom. I'm going to turn, I'll put the lid on and I'm going to put it on steam for zero minutes. That will be enough for it to come to pressure and then it'll stop. So it'll still take five or ten minutes and it should be steamed and then I can use that to make the crust for the pizza. Got defrosted turkey. We're going to cook it now. Mostly defrosted. It's still partly frozen. And that's going to be one of the toppings on our pizza tonight. I picked up a helper to help me cook. The ground turkey is cooking and the timer went off on the cauliflower. So it is steamed. We're going to put it into the Ninja food processor next and chop it up. Alright, we are going to measure out one cup of cauliflower that we just steamed for the crust. This thing has measurements on it. All right, we've got one cup of cauliflower. We're going to measure out two ounces of cheese I'm using mozzarella. We've got a food scale to see how much two ounces is. And we'll add one egg. An egg. And I get to do it all one-handed because somebody thinks he has to always be attached. Put the lid on. This thing's pretty cool. We bought it from Walmart not long ago. Not quite sure how much 425 is on the oven, but we'll guess it's going. Do you want to see it? Look. Do you see it? It's hot in there. It is. It's hot. So we've got that going. We're going to use some parchment paper. It says to the non-stick baking dish, and we don't have one. Look, do you want to do it on the table? Help? Or do you want a stool to help? Come here. Right here. Step up on the stool. Okay, here we go. Get this out and somehow make it into a crust. Let's get something to scrape it. Get it all out. This is going to make two servings in one pizza. Mm. 
I'm not sure how thick the crust is supposed to be. And we're going to bake it in the oven. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Maybe stay back. The oven's hot. And bake it for. Let's check our recipe. For how long? 20 minutes. So we'll set a timer for 20 minutes. And we'll wait. Timer went off. I'm gonna pull this out and see how it looks. Hmm. And it says to turn the oven to broil. We'll put all the toppings on. We've got tomatoes. Recipe call for three quarters of a cup of grape tomatoes cut in half. We don't have that, so we just diced up some tomatoes. We have ground turkey seasoned with garlic and Italian seasoning. And mozzarella cheese and spinach. This is going to be one loaded pizza. Maybe it's a two, right? It's two servings. Yeah. Alright, so we put the ground turkey that was seasoned with Italian seasoning and uh, minced garlic and then spinach and then the cheese. And I'm thinking maybe I was supposed to roll the crust thinner so that it would be a bigger pizza to hold all this because this looks like a lot of stuff loaded on there. We'll see how it turns out. We're going to broil it now for 10 minutes. Yay! Yay, look at that. Put up this pizza and see how it is. One loaded pizza. We'll just cut it into fourths. It looks like we're probably going to have to eat it with a fork. How is it? Delicioso. Can you pick it up like a piece of pizza? Um. No. No? The cauliflower is kind of soggy. And it's... Can you go ahead and... Um, I, it's kind of soggy. Um, and there's a lot of toppings, so it, it kind of sags a little bit. But it is delicious. That's all that matters. You. Your pizza turn out. Is that good pizza? Is it hot? Is that delicious pizza? Mama.